hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we will solve another medium level question uh, related to tree so it is a binary tree level order traversal so it's a very important question and uh, it's a medium type and you can you can get this in any of your interviews so let's get started given the root of a binary tree return the level order traversal of its node values so a root will be given we have to return the level order travel set so we have to return from left to right level by level so level is this one this is one level this is another level and this is another level so our output should be 3 in the first 0 level 920 in the first level 157 and the last level so examples they have given and let's try to solve this so one thing we have to keep in mind here uh, for level of the travel sir we are using breadth first search so if we are using breadth first search we have to use q here so this is like one thing you can remember while solving this problem in the interview also as soon as interviewer asks for level of the travel sir you just go ahead with uh, q so let's get started and let's try to solve this so here the function is returning list of list of integer so let's declare uh, this list let's say result equal to new array list so let's declare this list and get started with the base case let's assume that the input is empty here we don't have any root node root node is null so in that case uh, let's handle this case if root equal to null what we will do we will return this uh, empty list okay return result else what we will do right so as we understood that we have to use q let's declare a q here q and it is of type tree node because our node is of type tree node okay i'll say q equal to new linked list and as we have declared q now that like if root is null we are returning result okay if root is not null what we will do we will add that value to the q add that node to the q so we will add that root node right now uh, we have added a root node to the q in the q we have one node three now what we have to do right we have to iterate till that Q is empty so let's write a condition let's say Q dot E is empty so this condition till the Q is empty we have to iterate uh, through that Q and let's get the size of the Q now in size equal to Q dot size so uh, now the size we have got as we have one element size is one now what we have to do right we have to uh, take another list another list why because at each level we have to return one list here so for that purpose let's take let's initialize a list list of integer equal to list of integer let's take current level let's give the name current level equal to new array list new array list okay now at each level we have to add a list so for, for that purpose we have added, you taken this list now what we have to do right we have to iterate through the uh, through the root uh, till this size so uh, what i'll do i'll use a loop i equal to zero i less than size i plus plus now what i'll do right as i'm iterating till that number of elements as we have only one element what we'll do we'll uh, remove the element from the root from the queue tree node uh, current element equal to current node equal to q dot remove so three will come out q dot remove now what we will do will add that 
uh, three to this current level at least current level dot add of current dot value okay we have added value three to that once we add what we have to do right we have to check if this current level has left and right if it has left or it has right we have to add uh, to that queue so let's check if current dot left not equal to null so what we have to do we have to add it to the uh, queue queue dot add of current dot left right similarly we have to check for current dot right if current dot right not equal to null so what we have to do we have to add q dot add of current dot right okay so once we add right this current level list we have to add it to this result after this loop so what we'll do result dot add of current level finally once this queue is empty and if you process all the elements we have to what we have to do we have to re, uh, return this result okay now let's try to uh, dry run this okay let's take this input okay first uh, we will take this input uh, three now as the root is not equal to null it will come here q will be initialized we'll add a uh, root to the q so three node will be add to the q now while q is not equal to empty yes q is not equal to empty because we have added these three we have three in the queue size size is one current level the one list we have initialized now we are iterating through that size of the queue now size is one so we are iterating one time now so current node will get will get current node is one now we are removing so current level this list will add this current dot value current dot value is three okay current dot left not equal to null yes it is not equal to null q dot add current dot left current dot left is nine node will be added to q similarly current dot right is not equal to null so q dot add current dot right current dot right is 20 20th node will be added to q okay now q will have nine and 20th uh, uh, nodes so this loop as it the size was one it will come outside what it will do it will add result in the result list it will add this current level so current level is one so three will be added so we are we have got this first one now again it will check if q is empty no q is not empty because 9 and 20 are there in the queue now okay now size it will take size is 2 okay why 2 because 9 and 20 are there again we'll take current level list again we'll iterate through that uh, uh, size of the queue size of the queue is 2 so we'll remove 9 uh, 9 will remove and we'll add that value to current level current level 9 will add and we'll check if current dot left not equal to null current dot left is null it will skip this current dot right is null it will skip this so again size is as size was to again this loop will uh, run here again for 20 it will run now uh, as 20 q dot remove 20 will come out we'll add that 20 value to this current level list and current dot left it will check yes it is not equal to null add this 15 current dot right not equal to null as this 7 okay now uh, as the loop is completed it will come here it will add that current level list to this result so now result will have 9 comma 20 now again again as the queue is not empty we have 15 and 7 right size is 2 current level will again take this list again what we'll do we'll iterate through that 15 7 uh, list 15 and 7 in that queue we'll get the current node fifth current node is 15 current level dot add of in this list we'll add 15 
it will check for left it is not there it will skip this right is not there it will skip this again this loop for 7 7 it will remove it will add the value okay uh, left is not there right is not there it will skip it will add this current level okay q is empty it will come out and finally it will return the uh, this result so it, it will return this whole result let's try to run this and after that uh, let's try to submit right so successfully we have submitted it took 0 milliseconds and 100 percent uh, faster so i hope you like this video uh, please share with your friends uh, and subscribe to my channel that's it from my end thank you